ESPN's Trey Wingo called Aguayo the worst draft pick ever. Is he right? Absolutely not. I mean, maybe he's the most head-scratching draft pick ever because people are saying, why would you take a kicker at this point in the draft? But worst ever? I mean, you're looking at the, the Ryan Leafs and the Jamarcus Russells of the world who were supposed to be franchise changers when they were brought in. They were supposed to be the answer, and they wound up with failures of careers in the most high-profile spots at the very top end of the draft. See, I think he might have a point here. I think this is the worst because because I will never blame an organization for going for it for a quarterback thinking they are a franchise changer and taking a risk, a big risk, to try to get the most important position on the football field. You really can't find a way to back up a general manager in this point, in this case, Jason Light of the Tampa Bay Bucks, for taking this big of a risk on a kicker. I mean, that doesn't make sense. If you're going to try to go all in, try to find the new face of your franchise, Swing for the fences on a quarterback, even if it ends up being Ryan Lee for Jamarcus Russell. I think that is more defensible. Defense, you can defend that. It's more defensible than if you try to do this with a kicker. They traded up using the 74th and 106th picks. Those positions in the draft board, those are pieces that you are hoping to find at least contributors to your franchise. Now, Jason Light has said he made a big mistake. He's owning up to it. He's saying it doesn't want to preclude him, though, from taking big risks in the future. I just hope they don't involve kickers. Yeah, there's one thing I think we can agree on. The pick was no good, no right? No good.